Hey everybody, Logan here, and yet another video before the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, you're just getting just getting bombarded with them, but now this is gonna be something a little fun because I'm showing you guys one of the gaming presents that I got for Christmas, not including all the stuff I got for like Camaro and action figures and yeah, Ninja Turtle stuff, some yeah, <laughs> Cobra Kai stuff, got a lot of cool stuff, but this was really cool. I was really looking for. Oh, no, there it goes. And I was really looking forward to getting this. And then uh, once I got it, it was much better than even what I expected. You guys might have seen this on um, Metal Jesus Rocks or as uh, lately uh, Nintendo. If I'm not mistaken, they got it sent to them. Me, I wasn't lucky. I got it as a gift. But I think it was even better because mine was given to me with love. Ha <laughs> ha. And I got the Evercade. Yeah, this little handheld is a nifty little sucker. So we're going to look at it a, a little closer. But that's the Evercade itself. Um, really cool. We're going to take a closer look at it in just a moment. And mine came with... Uh, the box comes with these games. These are the games. Uh, came with three... Uh, again, we'll, we'll, we'll take another closer look, and then as a gift, I got this one on top of it. This one has one of my favorite games from the Super Nintendo, and most people don't know what that is because it's a rare one, not an expensive one, but it's called Battle Cars, and I'm going to show you a bit more of that in a moment. Now, one thing that this little sucker does do, it actually connects to your TV via HDMI uh, Mini, but unfortunately, I don't have one of those cables. I didn't notice that when um, when I got it. I think maybe one of the, the guys mentioned in the video. I didn't really pay much attention to that because I want to use this strictly as a handheld. But it does say when you connect it to your TV, I think you can see it right there, 720p. And I'm fine playing it on here. I spent a lot of time playing a couple games, some Atari games. Even though I was technically old enough to play the Atari, my first experience on Atari was uh, Donkey Kong, uh, Pac-Man, and MASH. Uh, the TV show, it actually had a game, and the, that was my first experience, but I didn't really get in until I got uh, an NES. When I was a little, a little older, I was, I, I think I got mine in 87, 88, something like that. Uh, I was about four or five years old when I got mine. And that was really from there, but I did play uh, these games. And it was kind of interesting playing some of these games from the 70... Uh, what was the one I was playing? 7800, uh, which is most of them like Ninja Golf. That was an interesting game. But this way you can't really see much. Let's take a closer look because this thing is pretty cool. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming. Alrighty, so yeah, this is the box for the Evercade. We're not doing an unboxing because as you can see, I've been playing it, but we can take a closer look at the box. I did get the premium pack that comes with Atari Collection 1, Interplay Collection 1, and Data East. Comes with a number of games. This I found a little weird. Other cartridges available. Those were the ones that came in here, but here it says Mad Cat, yet shows Data East. I saw that. I was like... That's a little weird. Now, this is from the UK. I did not see a US version. I'm not even sure if there is one. But as you can see, also play on your TV in 720p. And then on the side, it shows you all the games that come in the pack. I was playing Alien Brigade. And where is it on here? Ninja Golf? Ninja Golf, right there. And then I played Clay Fighter, uh, Earthworm Jim. Haven't played anything on here yet. But, this is the console. So, ooh, let me, ugh, there we go. Ah, there's lint, lint, no lint on the screen. Talk about pet peeve. 
So there you go. This is the console itself. Has a headphone jack. You got your volume here. Now it does charge with a micro USB. Oh, is that a mini? I don't know. I, I can't remember what the difference between them. It should have been a Type C. Power switch, HDMI. Now the back. I like these little cartridges. Like the cartridge connector is like right there. But this is the cartridge. So you open. Let's see the box. And they remind me of Genesis games, but like a smaller Genesis meets, I guess, Vita. Whoops, sorry. And here, let's go. That is the Namco collection. Here it doesn't show it, but... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I know it's on here. So, pop it on. I did fully charge it. I killed the battery last night. Now, the sound is actually pretty loud. That was not full bore, so let me... Uh, see? Battle cards. It's the first one. Now, one cool thing about this, it has save states. Lint. So, oh, I love this game. So, if you hit menu, you can actually, you have one save slot. You can do a save state, save the state that you're in, load, settings, quit. Settings, if you go through the settings, it's screen ratio, which I just leave it. You can do full screen. I do it at original. I don't like the uh, the distortion. So here, if we do load state, it goes right back to where it was before. And the screen looks fantastic. And as some of you may know, I'm really into uh, racing games. Oh, it's really hard to play it like this. Uh, and I love car combat. I love the Twisted Metal series. So here we'll do that. I'm not going to go to the save state. Let's just quit the game because it's pretty odd there. See how loud that is at some times? Other times it's not. And we'll do... This is 8-bit. So I guess this was the Famicom version. So we'll do that, and I'll just let you get another look at some of the other games. They play very well. Is it bad that I forgot how to play Pac-Man? Uh, he, he wasn't he was just actually blue well there you go that that's a that's a little look into it there's a number of different games uh that you can actually purchase i really like let me turn that down see i i really like the handheld the buttons are cool i like the the genesis style d-pad the only thing that bothers me are up the shoulder buttons up here i don't know if you can hear it they're very clacky you don't get much of a, a satisfying press. But otherwise, everything about this little console is great. Everything's officially licensed. So you don't have to worry about that that bootleg game thing that you buy at, like, the drugstore or something like that. But, yeah, and everything's really good quality. I was honestly surprised it was going to be as cool as it was. And I'm really, really happy to get this. Uh, if you guys like retro gaming, if you like stuff, the uh, the 8-bit, the 4-bit, the 16-bit, stuff like that, Atari, NES, Super NES, uh, Sega Genesis, 
era games, this is definitely, definitely a solid pickup. I, if I'm not mistaken, you could probably get the, the starter pack, which is this right here for around that. I think this one's around a hundred bucks on Amazon. Each of the games run anywhere between, uh, 20 and 30 uh, bucks a piece. And there's more to come. I noticed there's a, there's actually more, uh, of these collections coming out and I, I will definitely be picking them up. And again, the way they come in the little cases, they're really nice. They're numbered and you can just put them up on your game shelf and they look really nice on the game shelf as well. Uh, they, they fit in very well with a lot of the retro games with the case styles and everything. So yeah, there you guys go. That is a look at the Evercade. This is the premium pack, like I said, and it's from, uh, what was it? Blaze and yeah, Blaze Entertainment. I've never heard of them. Um, it's cool that they managed to get everything officially licensed and it's, it's a solid little handheld. Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely say for, for the price, it's definitely worth it. You get a lot of games to start with. I like the fact that they're not built in. I like the fact that they're on cartridges gives you that old school feel. Um, yeah. And none of that bootleg nonsense. This is a, a really, really good quality, uh, hand, uh, retro handheld. So yeah, if you were thinking about picking up one, uh, you can check out, you know, the other videos. If, if you're really not, uh, not satisfied or still not convinced with my video, but I think it's fantastic. Definitely worth a pickup. The price is, you know, it's a bargain. So pick it up if you love the retro games. You guys know I do. This channel is founded on retro gaming. So yeah, definitely worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching us today. And if you haven't already, head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Link in the description. Oh, check out our Teespring where you can get all kinds of shirts and stuff. I got the, put more stuff on there. Link in the description as well. Teespring.com slash store slash redbandanagaming. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you share this video with everybody. Are you going to share it? Can, can you please share it? That would, that would be good. That would be nice. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you. I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas and great holidays and hope your New Year's is fantastic because 2021 needs to be much better than 2020. Oh, okay, I'm I'm done now. I've I've had a number a bit of a number a bit of coffee. There we go. Today and yeah, today has been a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, hope hopefully you guys had a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and hope you have a fantastic New Year. If you are watching this after the New Year's, hope you had a great New Year's celebration. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you all so much. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Like we always say, be legendary. Like this little Evercade, it's really freaking cool. Thanks again.